come to life. Someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? What you sow does not come to life unless it dies. And what you sow is not the body that it is to be, but a bare kernel, perhaps of wheat or of some other grain. But God gives it a body as he has chosen, and to each of the seeds its own body. 1 Corinthians 15, 35 to 38. God is intimately involved in creation. Paul here is comparing how a seed is planted in one form and comes forth in another form, with a body different from all other bodies. This is a remarkable statement of God's intimate involvement in the way God designs each seed to bring forth its own unique plant. Psalm 94 9 says, He who planted the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? The psalmist assumes that God was the designer of the eye and that he designed the way the ear is planted into the head to do its hearing work. When we marvel at the wonders of the human eye and the remarkable structure of the ear, we marvel at the mind and the creativity and the power of God. Creation is his handiwork and bears the mark of his creator claim on it, like a piece of artwork belongs to the one who painted it until he sells it or gives it away. I call you to be utterly God-conscious and God-exalting and God-saturated in all your observation and admiration of the wonders of the world as they come to life.